Hello, it's Thursday, April 29th. I'm Alex Jensen from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. You'll soon be able to travel into South Korea quarantine free, albeit with conditions attached. From May 5th, regardless of nationality, if you've been officially vaccinated against COVID 19 in South Korea and received your final shot at least two weeks before, then you won't have to go through the mandatory 14 day isolation period on your return here, as long as you test negative. What if you received your vaccine overseas? That will depend on agreements with other countries and whether your vaccine's been approved here, which isn't the case for the Moderna, Novavax, Sinopharm and Sputnik V jabs. And if you're traveling here from a country with prevalent COVID-19 variants, such as South Africa and Brazil, you'll still have to quarantine regardless of vaccine status. South Korea has so far given at least one vaccine dose to around 2.8 million people, or 5.6% of the population. The United States has vowed to hold North Korea accountable for egregious human rights violations. Marking North Korea Freedom Week, State Department spokesperson Ned Price highlighted the millions of North Koreans who continue to have their dignity and human rights violated by one of the most repressive and totalitarian states in the world. With Pyongyang proving unresponsive to US President Joe Biden's approach to diplomacy, Washington is preparing to protect itself planning to spend nearly 18 billion US dollars to develop a new interceptor to stop incoming nuclear missiles from countries such as North Korea and Iran, according to a Bloomberg report. Addressing Congress, President Biden has vowed to work with allies to address the threats posed by Pyongyang and Tehran. And the entertainment company behind BTS has been named as one of Time magazine's 100 most influential companies. Previously big hit entertainment, Hybe's been placed alongside the likes of Apple and Google, with Samsung being the only other Korean company to make the list. Time compared Hybe to Disney, describing the company as having created a bts fueled empire. After acquiring Ithaca Holdings in a billion dollar deal, it now also oversees global stars Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. Founder Bang Shi Hyuk, who's overseen Hybe's transformation from underdog talent agency since 2005, was also recently named alongside the company's global CEO, Lenzo Yoon, on Billboard's list of international power players. That's it for your daily headlines, but you can check out more via our official website shown below. And of course, subscribe to Korea Now for constantly updated new content.